Good morning, you beautiful bastards. It's morning for me, not for you. Today, figured I'd be doing something a little, a little bit outside of my norm as far as uh, content is. I'm going to be reviewing some of some of my personal favorite photos I've ever taken, and a little bit of the story behind some of them. Kind of the reason why I'm over on this side of my screen is because I will be displaying the photo. That's not the right way. The photos over here, either that or it'll be displayed across the whole screen, but I don't know how I'm going to edit this yet. So I figured I would at least have a couple avenues of ways I can do that. I'm also going to be sharing some of the photographers that got me into taking photos to begin with. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I'm going to be honest. Editing this is going to be a fucking nightmare because I never shut up whip out the old phone skis. And yes, I have a small rig cage on this. Uh, all the B-roll that you saw this morning of me making the coffee and just me walking around setting up the shot that you see currently. That was all done on my phone and I have an anamorphic, I think it was a 1.5 or 1.55 anamorphic lens for my phone. Produces actually like really good shit and uh, for a very low barrier to entry as far as price point when it comes to anamorphics because holy fuck are anamorphics expensive. Even a seer, uh, seery, seery? I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but uh, I see them on Facebook Marketplace out here every once in a while for like 1200. I might as well buy a whole nother Sony. I'll probably just go from like recent photos and then progressively show, you know what, nah, let's, get, let's, let's show some of my oldest, oldest photos first and why they sucked because a lot of them sucked. One thing you're gonna notice, uh, a lot of photos of my dogs, or at least two of them, because one of them doesn't like getting photographed. My dog Rose does not like being in pictures. She just also doesn't show up. She's a very dark dog, and I didn't know how to use like exposure because I will actually include the photo of the camera that I used to use. That is a Nikon D40 that was my father's. That camera released November 16th of 2006. As someone who was born in May of 1999, if you can do some really quick math, I was seven years old when this camera dropped and it was my first real camera. I mean, they're not bad cameras, don't get me wrong. They produced some pretty quality images. I will, I will give it that. For the age of it and it only being a 6.1 megapixel camera, actually pretty good. I shit you not, you could find them for 40 bucks. Easy. Uh, there's probably better cameras you could find for cheaper, but I shit you not, it is a $40 camera online. Like one of my favorite photos I've ever taken of my dog, Luna. She will be right here. This was taken with that Nikon D40 and it is one of the oldest photos that I have that I have taken. That is the first photo that I had posted to this Instagram. Obviously I have my personal Instagram that I don't share, mostly because a little bit of backstory to the person you see sitting in front of this microphone right now. I used to do magic. Anybody that sees this from Facebook, that is somebody I went to high school with, uh, can vouch that I did magic a lot. It was kind of like my whole shtick. One of the first pieces of magic content that I ever actually consumed was a DVD set called Mechanic. I will throw up a fucking photo of my old table of the Mechanic DVDs and playing cards and poker chips sitting on a makeshift poker table that I had in my house, literally in my room. And this the room I lived in was in a double wide trailer. Like I lived in a tiny fucking little room and I had this massive circle. Like if you go to a church, they have those big ass white round tables. But I, that was when I first started trying to do YouTube and I have a channel out there somewhere. I still can't find it. It's been years. I might have deleted it. I'm not really sure. Like I might have deleted that channel completely from the face of the earth. Uh, this is whenever I got to take my wife and my, uh, these photos right here. This is whenever I got to take like my wife and my youngest sister, Ella, to Disney World down in Orlando, which was super cool. Uh, my wife's from California, so she grew up going to Disneyland all the time, so we were gonna go for a Disney trip anyway, and we asked if my little sister wanted to go, and she absolutely said, fuck yeah, let's go. Here is the only photo that I've ever been able to take of my dog, Rose. She is an Australian and German Shepherd mix, but she is also a mini Aussie in a German Shepherd mix. Uh, she's a great dog. She was our first dog. She is the oldest of the three. This is the first photo of my Belgian Malinois buddy who I finally got a photo of and he could show up on because again, at the time I didn't know what exposure and shutter speed does to a photo. My next favorite photo, it'd be 
this photo. I know a lot of these are, like I said, a lot of these early ones are going to be pictures of my fucking dogs. That's what I had to photograph. I didn't know about going building a composition out somewhere else and going to a different city to take photos. I didn't know any of that shit. And I actually have a this is like the only this is a really big fuck up on my part that i would really recommend nobody else does don't print a massive photo unless you have somewhere to hang said fucking photo because i have a 24 by 36 print of my dog that i have no idea what to do with it's in my office it's just sitting next to my computer matter of fact here let me go grab it like i'm not kidding you when i tell you i have a massive print of my of my husky i don't know what to fucking do with this thing <laughs> i'm gonna go put this back in my office now and i will now jump cut to me being right here in front of the camera <sighs> we're back i did uh grab this this is that uh anamorphic lens that i use on my phone uh, this one's from small rig i love small rig shit small rig's awesome uh the case that i have on my phone currently small rig and the cage that is currently on my sony is a small rig cage this right here was the first time that i was able to go out in the morning like i woke up early enough to see sunrise that photo was taken over a flooded field that is normally the water that you see reflecting like the sunlight reflecting from the bottom that is normally a cornfield and then we move on to the first time that i went to vegas uh this one was actually taken from the window of my hotel room it was right at golden hour like sunset time frame not a cloud in the sky that was one of my favorite pictures and funny enough i took that with my phone like i think my camera was still in my bag that was like the first day we'd gotten there i believe i had my sony by this time because i think i got my sony in april but i was still using photos from my canon to post some of my favorite photos that i've ever taken as far as like color wave would have to be the bellagio botanical garden my profile photo on instagram actually used to be the hands photo i was actually able to take my sony to disneyland here's some of my favorite photos from that so this photo obviously i like old cars so this was like a cool photo to me that little frame in general i really liked with the coca-cola sign in the background and the tarp above it giving it some red it looked nice so i took the photo uh did some long exposures at the waterfall out there these i took them in black and white this leads in from that car talk uh these are some of my dad's photos that he took this specimen of a human uh is my father uh here's my dad on uh, i believe that bike was called the kid if i'm not mistaken uh i might be wrong on that here's a photo of my dad at a much older age on a similar mo motorcycle it wasn't the same motorcycle that motorcycle he's riding is actually a motorcycle of a friend of his who passed away i can't remember how old my dad is in this picture this is a picture of his 53 which is personally my favorite car that he ever owned then we have i think this is a 63 impala that had ice covering covering it during a storm or that might be a thunderbird i can't remember then a procession of cars all lined up and honestly one of the cooler photos that i think he took and honestly i'm fairly fucking impressed with because the composition of this is pretty cool but you see the the reflection of the car at the top of the mirror and you see his club name for his car club on the sticker and i don't know it was pretty pretty impressive focusing with a camera that you had to like manual focus because the autofocus was shit those are some of my favorite photos he ever took and i've shared them on my instagram because i thought it was cool and i will share now with you some of my personal favorite photo compositions that i've ever taken one of my all-time favorite photos that i've ever taken was on my first trip to chicago with my wife uh, this photo was taken at union station while we were waiting to get on the train to leave personally it is one of my favorites because to me it looks almost like the frame that you'd see of some like of a villain in like a batman movie or some shit that would be the frame of them walking in as the camera panned and tracked them so to me, I love that picture. This is surprising, I know. Another photo of my Husky. This is my favorite lighting I've ever had in a photo. Here is my, I wouldn't say my favorite, but it's probably one of my best photos I've taken with my phone while waiting outside of the aquarium to go look at 
just animals. It was raining that day. It was foggy and they had the fog rolling over the building and it looked fucking cool as shit. So I took the picture. Funny enough, this photo right here that you see is of a couple that I took a photo of while at the aquarium. Uh, this was in the Starbucks that they had in there, their little cafe section of them just enjoying talking. Uh, it actually looks really nice. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. Another one is... This photo right here, taken in front of a hotel on, I don't even remember what street this was on. I was just walking around while my wife was in stores. If you know what the ed, like entrance to that hotel is, I'm pretty sure it's a hotel. I might be wrong. It might've just been a random business that I'm just fucking forgetting the name of. I actually didn't have a burst mode on when I took this picture. I just took one singular shot as there were people walking. Uh, the detail in this photo is actually what I really like the most and the symmetry of it's really cool. I like black and white. It looks really nice. Uh, speaking of black and white, this isn't a black and white photo. This this photo right here of the truck like i said i wasn't shooting burst mode this day that one i took while i was on top of a bridge like i was on a walkway above the street i just leaned over snapped the photo really quick that one is one of my favorite as far as like car photos i've ever taken i've tried to take a couple and they just never pan this is another photo of my second time that i went to uh union station Thank you, Brain, for providing me a word that it actually made sense. Uh, here's a couple photos of that. Uh, this was more toward their Christmas time. And then we get into the only self-portrait of mine that actually looks decent. Funny enough, I'm wearing the same hoodie in that fucking picture. This is like my comfort hoodie at home. This is my favorite sunset photo I have ever taken. This one was very recent. Like This one was taken on December 31st of 2023. I was outside of a Target with my wife. And I looked out and saw possibly one of the coolest fucking sunsets I had ever seen. And I happened to be, unfortunately, in a fucking Target parking lot. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's still a great photo, in my opinion. I love it. Those are some of my personal favorite stories behind some of those photos. And just like some of my favorite photos of that entire year because most of those if not all of those were posted in 2023 so i haven't even been posting on instagram an entire year i want to get a little bit into the people who influenced me the most in my photography and videography and all that shit. some of my biggest inspirations for making videos was a youtuber that i don't know if he posts anymore he got me into making magic content name was disturbed reality or jarek 120 and i can still remember his name to this day uh, he's the one I learned like a fuck ton of my magic from. I would religiously wait for him to post. Another person that I very much enjoyed watching and still do to this day uh, as far as magic goes was Peter McKinnon. I know some people absolutely either fucking love the guy or they hate him. I personally love his content. He is one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, photographers. He's just fucking good at it, dude. You can't hate a motherfucker who's been good at this shit for so long. Some people obviously just hate because of success. I get that. Like, people are fucking angry. Uh, first, I think I might have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. The first time I ever consumed anything that was made by Peter McKinnon was, funnily enough, a fucking DVD set called The Mechanic by Daniel Madison. And that was the first magic I ever learned. And it was technically how to cheat at playing cards. Another person that I really highly look up to as far as, like, YouTubers in the space now, the North Borders. I love his workflow i love what he does with his channel it's very straightforward very blunt uh i love his intro he's like hope you're having a shit one i fuck with that i'm a big fan of people who just do not give a fuck uh, another person that i highly looked up to as far as magic back in the day was chris ramsey uh, Chris Ramsey, who I later found out Peter McKinnon and him were like really good friends. I used to get on Instagram and watch his shit all the time. Uh, he actually mentioned my name in a Q&A that he did years ago. When I say years ago, I mean like over half a decade. Like it has been six, maybe even seven years since that video came out. It is old. At least I think it is. Fuck, I don't know. My timelines are all fucked up. Let's see, who's another grainy days? Obviously one of the goats of the whole film photography content. Tio Crawford, love watching him. Nick Carver is fucking fantastic. Glad to hear that his art gallery went really well. That was, that was really cool to watch. Anybody from the Unsubscribe podcast, like uh, Brandon Herrera, the fat electrician, uh, Eli Double Tap, uh, Donut Operator, all those dudes, pretty much encapsulates my humor as a person. Anyway, uh, I've been talking for like an hour dude and i have to edit this i hope you enjoyed 
whatever the fuck this is i mean it's just like me basically like my best of 2023 which is all dog shit but it was still cool uh, i hope you enjoyed some of my photos that i've taken over this past year i love all you guys thank you for sticking around see you guys next week for another episode of clusterfuck love you guys see you next week peace